Hi, today I'm going to be showing you three, di three different questions. One is how to find, a, how to find the uh, surface area. Second one is finding the surface area as well. The third one is finding, the area, finding an area of a prism. So the first one, the first one says find the surface area. So right, right here you can see we have two triangles that are the same. Well, no, two rectangles that are same. So, in our dimensions for one tri one rectangle are ten times eight. So that that you can do that in your head. It's eighty, and you multiply that by two because you have two rectangles, and you have one sixty. So the top and bottom equals one sixty, and so now we have the sides one and two which right here it's, it has a three. So three times 10 equals 30 times two, since you have two, two of them equals 60. So sides one and two equals 60. Sides three and four, which are this one and this one are three times eight. Now three times eight equals 24. And you multiply that by two to get 48. You add them all together. That will give you 268. So it would be 268 meters squared because it is a two-dimensional figure. Second one is finding the surface area as well. So our, dimen so our dimensions are uh, 13, 5, 15, and 12. Now the 13 we're only going to use once because on the triangle, that's basically the 13 is basically... A number that we don't really need we'll only end up using it once so since you have the right angle right here that means that it's supposed to be this way it's a right triangle and so we can go 5 times 12 which that's 60 so the triangle is equal 60 and since you'd normally divide it by 2 which would give you 30 uh, you have two of two triangles right so you get 60 um, so, and then the top would be 180 because we're multiplying 15 by 12. And so 180. And then this, this side is, um, it's 5 times, 5 times 15, which equals 75. And then the bottom, which is right here. It is 195 cause, because you multiply 13 times 15. Now that's where the 13 comes in. You've only, like I said, you only, you only use it once. Okay, and so you, you add that all together, give you uh, 5, 10, not 6, 10. 5, 10 feet squared. No, feet, feet squared, yeah, because it's a it's uh it's finding the surface area so if you folded this out it'd be a two di two dimensional figure and now on to our third one um so this one says to find the area and so we can break break this up into our, so we have the base so the base is two times two times two which equals four um and then for for the triangles, it'd be so half the base times the height. So that would be one times four equals four times four. Since we have four different triangles on it, would give us sixteen. You add that together, that would give you twenty. And you have to add in your units and cube because it's a three-dimensional figure. And these are my three problems that I was teaching you. See you later.